Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Dr. Katz, good day. Welcome to the Valder BB Show. How are you? Yeah, uh, how are you? I am well. I want my audience to know that August the 6th is approaching fast. It's National Fresh Breast Day. Yeah, you heard me right. And I've got Dr. Katz. He's here talking about the best and the worst foods and the drinks that can cause your breast to be, you know, kind of stuffy, <laughs> but he knows how to fix it. Dr. Cass, we're talking about Fresh Breast Day. I didn't know there was such a day. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited to talk with you. What causes bad breath? Uh, actually, two causes. One is bacteria. Uh, these are bugs that live in the back of your tongue, throat, and tonsils. And under certain conditions, such as a dry mouth, they produce chemicals called volatile sulfur compounds. That's a combination of chemicals. It includes hydrogen sulfide, which is the rotten egg smell, as well as cadaverine, the smell of rotting flesh. So you, you don't want that in your breath. But there's also foods which can give you garlic, for example. They already contain sulfur compounds, so you give yourself bad breath when you eat those. So you want to make sure you're eating the right foods and trying to keep those bacteria at bay. Okay, so just think, uh, you know, you're at a party, you think you have bad breath. How do you check to see if you really have bad breath? Well, I'm sure you've seen in TV and movies where guys do this, <sighs> make sure their breath is fresh. The problem is that's a great way to smell your hand. No indication of your bad breath. So what you should do, uh, lick the back of your hand. Make sure you lick your own hand, by the way. Uh, let that dry <laughs> a few seconds and then take a whiff of that. And the reason that works is the sulfur compounds blend with your saliva. Once the liquid evaporates, the sulfur will stick to your hand. Okay, so what do we do to fix it once we go, or <laughs> well, obviously you want, back our hand, rather? Well, obviously you want foods which have a lot of moisture in them. Uh, berries are great. Apples, drink plenty of water. Green tea is excellent. You want to avoid alcohol, especially alcohol and mouthwash. That could be up to 27% alcohol. Uh, but we created the TheraBreath formula, and we actually use this instrument called the Halimeter in developing it. My daughter had a bad breath problem. We tested it on the Halimeter, and sure enough, her breath was bad. The alcohol mouthwash has made her breath worse. So l let me show you how it works. Uh, there's an onion here. I'm take a little bite. Anything above 100 on the machine means you've got a bad breath problem. Okay. All right, then. I'm sure a lot of people <laughs> register 100 and above. Do you have some? What's it, t tell me about their breath then. Well, this is the machine that measures bad breath. It's called the halimeter. Anything above 1,000 means, uh, anything above 100 means you have a bad breath problem. So this is some of the mouthwash. Let me show you how it works. Cheers. Now, usually at home, you'd rinse for about 30 seconds. You'd definitely floss. You would gargle. And you would gently brush your tongue. Brushing your tongue is very important. The bacteria live in between the fibers that make up your tongue. Your tongue's like those shag carpets from the 70s, so they're hiding <laughs> from the oxygen. So very gently brushing your tongue helps. And you want to use the toothpaste without detergent. TheraBreath has no detergent in it, so that's good for your breath that way. Let's see how we test. I think we had about 1,200 before. Oh. Dallas, I am kissable. <laughs> what do you register as? Uh, 51. Big difference. Yeah, big difference. And you use it twice a day. Works 12 hours each time. You use it in the morning. Use it before you go to sleep at night. That prevents morning breath. You wake up in the morning and you're very confident in your breath. Oh, and you're kissable. I like that, doctor. Where do we go to find out more information about TheraBreath? Oh, then? sure. Tons of information on our website, therabreath.com. If you go to therabreath.com, also slash coupons. Uh, Store coupons available, so you can buy it at Walmart, at Target, at Tom Thumb, all the drug chains, and uh, it's available on Amazon as well. Number one mouthwash on Amazon. Well, this is revolutionary, Dr. Katz. I love this. Thanks for stopping by the Valder BB Show and making my audience aware. My Maybe pleasure. some of the first people to be aware. <laughs> Thank you. 
and in print publications. I interviewed the world's most fascinating authors, all because I love a good book. This summer, I partnered with WPS for BB Summer Book Giveaway. We're giving away New York Times bestsellers and award-winning books, books that inspire me and I'm sure they'll inspire you. To be eligible to win a copy of Jesus Can Give You a New Life, answer this question. What is God's greatest gift to mankind? You'll find the answer in John 3.16 of the Bible. Send your response to the email at the bottom of the screen. I'm Valder Beebe and I'll see you for the next BB Summer Book Giveaway.